Hello everyone, Dai here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. We're going to be picking up where we left off after our last episode, continuing on with Day 8 of Springtime. Okay, so because we're so close to our 2,000 gold, all we need to do is just forge a little bit in our farm today. Sell the rest of our stuff, be able to go buy our bags, and then we should be able to venture out further into the world and start working on the quests that we need to work on. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward through all of this so that you don't really have to sit around and watch all of it because it's going to be really boring. And then we'll pick up our fun stuff, hopefully, on day nine. Okay, so we should now be able to forge. We should... Oh my gosh, we made like no money. Oh well. The ninth day of spring. Let's see what our uh, fortune tells us today. Ah yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Wow. That is just fantastic news, I tell you. Okay, so... Let's head into town and buy our backpack, finally. We're gonna get this backpack. Yay! You've got the large backpack. Your inventory space has been increased to 24, which means we have all these slots now, which is great. Because now everything I'm not using can just GTFO, am I right? All right. Wait, let's. Oh yeah, we're so poor we can't do anything anyways. All right, let's go get the rest of our wood. We need 78 more wood and then 300 rocks. <laughs> that should be fun. Oh, look at the size of that squirrel. A big ass squirrel, man. Okay. <laughs> it is now the tenth day of spring, and we are starting on our three hundred rock. Oh, we got another person. It's Marnie this time. You see this cat here? <laughs> I do. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Ooh, I got a pet cat. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, do you think this farm could use a kid cat? Will you adopt this cat? Yes. What are we gonna name our little cat? Dinkleberry. Well, little Dinkleberry, you be a good kitty now, okay? Meow. Am I gonna have to feed this cat? I feel like that's a lot of responsibility for me at this moment. Dear Farmer Die, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday, and that's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I'll expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you've learned. Anyway, I hope you start feeling at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Thanks so much, Robin. Our parsnips are ready. Uh, no. I need to eat my parsnips. What I do need is to water all my other seeds. Okay. 
I think that's gonna be a cauliflower. Okay, so like I was saying early before, before we so rudely interrupted by Marnie, we are starting our rock expedition today. So let us bust up some rocks. Although I sort of feel like the most beneficial place for us to do this would probably be down in that mine shaft because we already have a quest to go do that. All right, let's head back down in here again. And I bu oh, the, all the rocks respawned. That's good to know, I suppose. And the hole to level one change. There we go. Ooh, what's this? A quartz. Feeling it. Okay, so we're gonna need our sword. I'm gonna put that there. I'll we'll put this thing. Ever or quartz? Why can't you? So I have like special quartz, and then I have non-special quartz. <laughs> Have no use to me. Die, you slime! There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't want to like bust up all of these, but at the same time, I really want to just get to level five. And this is not creepy at all. could bust barrels with my sword. Good to know. Upper ore. Alright, let's... What level are we on? We are going to level four. And now we have a flying creature. Which I have now killed and took bug meat. Oh, it was a bug! <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, an earth crystal. Ah! Oh, well, we found the entrance to level five, but let's just explore down here a little bit more. This guy seems to be trapped. just happened there. Uh. 
all the precious... I mean, we're, we're down here looking for stone and I'm all... Hey, let's just find our entrance. <laughs> Um, well, let's eat this fish. It gives me 38 energy and 15 health back, so put that there. We got a topaz, bug meat, we got some geos, some slimes. Do you want to eat this largemouth bass? I sure do. Any energy, any energy is better than no energy. What do we got down here? I kill you. Oh, and there's the Yeah, that's right. And we kill the bug. Uh, we murder all the things. Oh, there's two exits. Well, I say we just kill up all these rocks well, until we have no energy left. Maybe we'll eat up some parsnips. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Okay, let's leave the mine and go home. <laughs> Dang, yo, it's like super nighttime. We didn't even make it to like halfway through our stones. Ugh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I fell asleep. Okay, well, I guess I just discovered that you can't stay out past two o'clock in the Stardew Valley land. I didn't know that prior to, but now I do. We're going to call this an episode. Be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. And I look forward to farming with you guys later. <laughs>